Let's take a live look outside. You can see right now we're still getting that slight drizzle. But you know what, though? It's going to be much worse in the next few days, <laughs> according to Derek Beasley. So, so enjoy this while it lasts. What? Exactly. <laughs> just, uh, Nikki's been waking up in the middle of the night. Just like, imagine the temperatures are <laughs> nightmares about these cold temperatures. Yes, it is going to get a lot colder, but at least most of the moisture will be out of here by that point, so we don't have to real, really deal with any wintry weather. Although, some of this rain that we're seeing right now could actually freeze on some of the roadways tomorrow when you see how quickly the temperature is going to drop behind this front. The front has already moved through places like Memphis and Little Rock's about to move through uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and the temperatures are dropping 20 and 30 degrees within the first couple of hours after the front moves through. Now, tonight, all we're dealing with is rain. Now, there's still a little bit of wintry weather across parts of the higher elevations of western Maryland, but most of that appears to be over with, at least for the time being. We are tracking more rain, though, developing down into northern Virginia. And this is continuing to move across the Potomac over into parts of central Maryland. So a steady rain going on now here in the Baltimore area, as well as out towards Howard County, Carroll, into northern Baltimore County, back into Frederick and Montgomery counties. It looks like things have started to wind down a little bit across parts of southern Maryland, but uh, we're going to continue to watch that to see if it, we get some of this moving back into that region here over the next half hour. Now, the area of low pressure is just off to our south. Once it lifts northward with the warm front, it will take the steady rain with it. We'll be dealing with this tonight, the break in the rainfall. Here comes the Arctic front. Now, what I want to point out with this Arctic front, see the rain developing out ahead of it? We'll get some of that tomorrow morning. Then notice how it changes over to a little bit of snow back behind it. Now, I don't think we're going to see a significant amount of snow with this system as it moves through, but there will be a change over to some snow showers before the precipitation comes to an end. It won't amount to much, but the temperature is going to drop so quickly behind this thing, it will change it over to a little bit of snow before ending. Temps, though, ranging anywhere from near 50 degrees here in the Baltimore area to uh, back towards the west, we're looking at readings behind the front dropping into the single digits and teens below zero, so very chilly air mass. Uh, looks like that wind, wind chill advisory in effect for most of Maryland. This is for really tomorrow all the way through Christmas Eve morning. Wind chills 10 to 20 below zero, not out of the question. And the wind chill warning in western Maryland, wind chills could get as low as 30 to 40 below zero. Now the wind advisory is in effect for our area tomorrow when the front comes through. The winds are going to pick up and gust out of the west 20, 30, 40 miles an hour. They'll be even higher, especially in the higher elevations out in western Maryland, where we could see some wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. That potentially could cause some damage with those winds gusting up that high. So we'll start the morning off in the 40s and then quickly drop through the 30s, the 20s, and then eventually into the teens behind the front. Notice that we will see a bit of a changeover by tomorrow night, going with around 10 in Baltimore, 8 for Bel Air. Low teens over on the eastern shore, single digits to single digits below zero out in western Maryland. Christmas Eve night, same story. Santa's really going to have to dress up and, and, and bundle up as we're looking at temperatures dropping well down into the single digits and teens once again. Wind chills, though, won't be quite as low, but they'll still be cold even on Christmas morning. So Friday, we're expecting rain changing over to snow showers with the front, sharp drop in temperatures, winds gusting over 40 miles an hour. We're going to see temps in the morning in the 40s dropping to the teens. Those wind chills, single digits, and teens by the end of the day. There's a possibility we could see any lingering moisture on the roadways freeze and create slick spots. We call that a flash freeze. Western Maryland, AM temperatures into the 30s dropping to the single digits to single digits below zero. Blowing snow will be possible when the winds pick up tomorrow. And we're looking at those wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. As far as the eastern shore, temps in the morning in the 40s, dropping to the teens by evening. Wind gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour with the front and behind it. Wind chill zero to teens above zero by late in the day. So again, the rain lifts out. Later on this evening and tonight, we'll have a break overnight. Here comes the Arctic front, changing over briefly to a little bit of snow before ending, and then the rest of the day will just be windy and cold. Those wind chills getting down to single digits below zero to teens below zero west of I-95 Christmas Eve morning, much lower than that in western Maryland, and then wind chills down to right around zero to 10 above zero here by Christmas morning. Alert day for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures into the 20s for highs for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Then we start to warm back up by the time we head towards this time next week. We're looking at temperatures getting back into the 50s. So definitely looking forward to that. So bundle up next few days. Just Nikki, just close your eyes and you envision that. We, we plan to. I'm, I'm trying to hide to this from you so you don't see it. Just thing. stand in front of it, Derek. <laughs> there you go. She's smiling again. <laughs> All right, good oh. stuff. Thank you.